Hello and welcome back to App in Seco. I hope you guys are doing good. So today in this video, we will learn how we can call a web API on a single click of a link that can generate and download document for me. But before I dive into this, let me give you a brief recap on what we have done in the previous video. Okay, so we have created a web API to trigger the process model to start the export process and an integration to send the request to the web API. Now, without any further delay, let's get right into the video. Alright, so my use case is to download a document in a single click. Okay, and if I call this web API through a link, it will not serve my purpose because it's a post web API and we cannot directly call a post web API through a link. Okay, so in that case, we have to create a web API to send request to that post web API to get the document ID. Okay. Provide the description to have an understanding of this object. HTTP method should be get because we are going to get the document ID, right? Which will call the post API. Provide the endpoint. You might be thinking that this web API can be invoked by anyone because I haven't authenticated it. But that is not the case. You can only execute this web API if you are an authenticated user and you are part of at least any one of these two groups even if you try accessing this web api it will throw an error saying that authentication is required now the question arises here is how i can call that web api i cannot call an api directly within an api right so for that i need an integration in place and i have already created an integration which sends request to that post web api right so i will be calling that integration over here Integrations are called just like expression rules using rule domain AS export to Excel. Now we have to construct an HTTP response to send the requested data to the client. So it's like a vehicle through which the requested data are delivered back to the client. Okay, whoever is making the request. So here in header we will construct an HTTP header to tell the client the type of response we are sending, right? The type of data we are sending, okay? Name should be content disposition, which indicates if the content is expected to be displayed in line in the browser or as an attachment, okay? And for this value should be attachment which means that the user should receive the prompt like a dialog box to save the file locally okay attachment cool headers then we have body once the api call is made successfully we can access the response body data using the integration output okay and here i am making use of index function to accept the specific field from the response body let me just format the code and i'll quickly test this out status code is 200 and in the body i have got my document id i'm good to save my changes now this is my get web api okay and now i can easily call this through a link okay so for that i'll create an expression rule to generate the URL, select the expression rule from the designer menu, give it a meaningful name, and then provide the description to understand its purpose. Cool. Now we'll be making use of a bank safe link to generate a secure URL. Okay, here we have a couple of parameters like label, URI, show when, and open link in. So I just need this URI parameter to generate the url for generating and downloading the document and users can only access the resources associated with the safe link if they have the appropriate permission okay i'll just copy the url and paste it over here it's done i'll save my changes and now i will take an unnamed interface to configure the link to execute that get web api call when clicked okay so using a bank rich text display field i'll configure a link cool value a bank rich text 
item okay here i have to provide the text download document we have this parameter called link so in a in here i'll just call this expression rule which we have created for generating a safe and secure url okay i'll use rule domain to call my expression rule as url for doc and we are done here okay let me just switch to preview mode i'll click this let's see my document gets downloaded or not okay yes it has been downloaded but it has generated the text document why so let's go back to a web api and see what we are getting in the body okay here in body we are just getting this id and we are not converting this number into a document right and that's the reason why it has generated text document okay so here i have this document id i will have to use dot id to get this id and then we'll be converting this to document okay using to document function cool if i test this again now i can see it's a document right the type you can see here document i'll save my changes and try testing the interface out again okay i'll click this link to download my document and there you go let me just open it for you and this is the data it has exported to the excel document okay it is coming from a data store entity it's coming from a table okay so that's how it is working if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and guess don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye